Hello and welcome to this week's roundup of news in Dundee. I'm Chris. And I'm Morgaine. A report led by Dundee University's Professor Mary Renfrew has revealed how mothers breastfeeding their offspring can save the NHS millions of pounds a year. The study has looked into a variety of illnesses where breastfeeding is thought to have a protective effect and the potential annual savings were discovered to be in the range of £40 million per year or possibly even higher. UNICEF Deputy Executive Director Anita Thiessen praised the university's research stating This new report shows that money invested to help women breastfeed for longer would provide a rapid financial return. In sporting news, the university's ultimate frisbee team have been crowned Scottish champions after defeating a strong Edinburgh team 9-4 in the final of the regionals tournament in Glasgow. The team have been one of the sports union's success stories and are already preparing for the next task, the Bucks Championships. Well done team! The Scottish Ensemble recently had a five-day residency in Dundee. The Mandolin's Vice Editor-in-Chief, Nicholas Mandelson, was at the Caird Hall to find out more. I'm here with Karen Nicholl from Scottish Ensemble to tell us just what the residency is all about. We've been getting out and about into the community, visiting care homes. Or we've been working with some young and amateur musicians um, and it's just been a great uh, opportunity for us to get involved with the community and to really get out there and show people what a great experience a Scottish Ensemble concert can be. Not long out of the performance by Scottish Ensemble, Kevin and I both had different experiences of uh, classical music. The unique things about tonight's performance with uh, Scottish Ensemble was a collaboration with a uh, film artist, Nisha Jones, which for me personally I was slightly underwhelmed, but I have no view. An interesting experience for you as your first real classical yeah, introduction. Yeah, you know, I'd go back. Mozart, I think everybody kind of knows it, and you recognise these things vaguely. But seeing it performed is a kind of different beast, really. I'm not a fan. So all in all, positive experiences all around, and hopefully we'll see Scottish Ensemble back in Dundee for another residency in uh, the near future. Um, that wraps up us at the Caird Hall, and so it's back to the studio now. Tomorrow, do some will unveil 2013 Raising and Giving, or RAG Week, programme. The campaign, which begins in January and will raise money for the Tayside Children of Cancer and Leukaemia Lodge, will be under the patronage of notable Dundee figures such as Rector Brian Cox and Principal Pete Downs. DUSA Vice President of Student Activities, Anna Dimitrova, said Students will be able to learn more about Dundee's community and see how, through fun and varied activities, they can induce positive change. Love superheroes? Yeah! Love comics? Yeah! Well, pop down to the Dundee Literary Festival on Sunday the 28th October for Dundee Comics Day! Grant Morrison, whose work includes writing for the Superman, Batman and X-Men comics, will be there, heading up an impressive looking lineup of artists and writers. The event will be held in the Darcy Thomas Lecture Theatre and the Baxter Suite, both in the Tower Building. You can buy tickets at the link below. Continuing the regular segment we started last week, here's Doug Young to tell us what happened on this day in history. In 1947, Walt Disney testifies for the House Un-American Activities Committee, naming employees he believed to be communists. 1536, the first recorded usage of the phrase faux shizzle my nizzle in a German manuscript. 1958, Michael Jackson was created in a genetic lab during an attempt by the US military to create a soldier that could outdance the Soviets. Shimon. In 1995, the Pope excommunicated sausages because they look a bit naughty. Hitler's dog Blondie had no opinion on the matter. Back to the studio. I never knew that. Now, we all know you enjoy the Union with its cheap heights and comfy sofas, but how much do you know about how it's actually run? Not that much? Well, fear not. The student executive have enhanced their accountability this year by launching an exec blog, which will be updated regularly and will keep you bang up to date with what's happening at DUSA and what issues they're dealing with. The blog can be found at the link below, so keep watching. Remember, if you have any news, send it to info at dusa.tv. That's, That's all, all for, for this week, week Dundee. This week, here's Doug Young telling us what happened. <laughs> 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 what? Who's Doug? Mary Ref. <laughs> Refu. Oh, there's a space. Well done, Ultimate. <laughs> yeah, should I have taken that out? <laughs> Was I in shop? Oh, I didn't actually know that. Now, we all know you enjoy the union with its cheap pints and coffee stuff.